Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. Today we are going back into Central Europe where we will be exploring a mythology from the European region that has actually inspired quite a bit of modern pop culture. That is the Balkan mythology. Now the Balkans are not all about dragons and griffins and other creatures that tend to have multiple uh, characteristics of different animals. They are also the home of the true giants in mythology. And we are going to be exploring one of those giants who is definitely terrifying in nature when you actually look at it. This is the Balachko. The Balachko is a three-headed giant from European mythology, especially in the Serbian region. The character is said to be mainly influenced by the folklore and stories from Russian traditions, although Slavic legends also talk about a three-headed monster who frequently created trouble for the humans. He was under the rule of Mihailo, the king of Lidain. He was killed by the Serbian hero Milos Vojinovic when he tried to kidnap Princess Roxanda, the bride of Tsar Dusan. This tale was told in the Serbian epic poem, Tsar Dusan's Wedding. Balachko was known to have three heads with distinct facial features. Each of the three heads had their own functions and usually functioned independently of each other. He was also depicted as being very tall and muscular in nature. Various depictions have also shown the Balachko to be a pot-bellied and slow creature as well. In terms of what the Balasho could actually do now, apart from being very formidable physically and that means having great physical strength and the power to really intimidate the opposition, every head had its own special ability as well. One of the heads could breathe fire while the other could breathe icy cold wind. This along with heightened physical prowess made the Balachko a formidable enemy for anyone. The only way to kill or defeat him was to wait till he completely exhausts the fire and icy wind. At this point, he became vulnerable and was easily subdued. And this is how the hero Milos actually ended up defeating the Balachko and becoming a true symbol of his people. Balachko is a popular character that has inspired numerous modern versions of itself in comics, anime, movies and video gaming. It is also a popular character in various Dungeons and Dragons games and also with MMORPG and the new we found Metaverse. A lot more characters similar to the Balachko which we will be covering, giants, uh, monsters and even some cryptic creatures that we will be looking at in the episodes to come. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. This is your host Nitin Nair signing off by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.